Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different, and welcome to Different Spoil YouTube channel. I hope y'all out there are having a wonderful day like it, girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you guys it's surely coming to you in the show. And if this is your first, second, third time, or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you. Before you leave, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And uh, so when I drop content, you guys come to Different Spoil and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? And speaking of coming and learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivation speaker and CEO of my own small business, Paradise Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for you, girl. Yeah. All right, you guys. So I know y'all wondering why I'm in my kitchen in my bonnet. Yeah, I know y'all see the food here and it's all y'all can see. If anybody been living under the rock, you guys know that it's uh, Thanksgiving time, 2023, and so... This will be my vlog. You know, on Thursdays, we normally do uh, a pop culture review or a movie review. So, with the spirit of uh, uh, Thanksgiving culture, um, I'm actually going to be cooking my first Thanksgiving feast. Um, yes, it'll be just me, uh, <laughs> unless my family decide to come on by and, and get them a plate. But, you know, I decided I didn't want to, you know, go to other people's house. I wanted to cook me something or cook a dinner in my own home uh, last year. I was dealing, you know, mourning the loss of my mother, and I just wasn't there. But this year, I want to honor her, and just by showing her and remembering what she taught me when it came to throwing down in the kitchen. And so, with that, and without further ado, I want to share with you all what's on different menu for uh, Turkey Day 2023. And before I get started, I want to give you guys a list so you guys can see here. See, we have here, uh, of course, uh, full disclosure, you guys, before we get started. Uh, big, this is my first Thanksgiving, so I just wanted to be play caution. I'm not ready for the big leaves yet, so yes, I'm, I'm big enough to, you know, admit. But with that being said, we're going to be doing turkey wings and not a full turkey. And um, another thing, I'm having mustard greens, but it's going to be out of a can, you guys, because, again, this is my first Thanksgiving, and I don't want to come, you know, I want to come correct with it when I make them from scratch. So I had to Google and research and YouTube, of course, what was the best kind, and uh, it was between uh, Glory and Margaret, uh, Margaret Holmes. This is what, what I found. And so I found one here, and then I got, like, four other cans here, so I'm going to try this by itself, and then I'm going to try this. Yeah. But... So with that and the turkey wings, oh, I guess I might as well just gorgeous those, y'all, because y'all going to be stuck to show y'all how to make it. <sighs> Again, I want to come correct when I make it for my first time, and I just can't get with the, the rubbing and the stirring, you know, 40 minutes just to get that consistency for your, for your gravy, for your turkey. So in a can, it will have to be. <laughs> we got the turkey gravy right here. But everything else going to be, you know, from scratch authentic. What else we got on the menu? We got mac and cheese. We got honey glazed ham I'm going to be making for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to make the how I make my uh honey very uh syrup from scratch so you guys can see that. What else we got? Making sure oh we can't got, got to let you know how it's done when it comes to the meats. What we use, what else we use it for the dressing. Uh of course we got that, can't miss that. We got the turkey sausage, we got the sage, and you ain't gonna top, especially deep fried sauce. You don't do a big thing with the sausage. So we got that that's going in the dressing. Uh, what else? Uh, mixed vegetables and for dessert. Da -da -da -da. As y'all see, I've already started the process of making the food. I got the cornbread going. This is like my second batch here. Put my little mix up. <laughs> All right. So with that, uh, yeah, I got that already working. For dessert, we got, I looked it up. I've been assessing with TikTok as far as recipe goes and, and, and Instagram. And so the main three one that I'm going to be making is an orange marmalade dump cake. Now let me tell you about this right here. I had, well, I'm from, I'm on the east side of Houston. I went all the way to the northwest, all the way to the damn southwest, man. I'm looking for this damn cake. And if nobody had it, Kroger's. Uh, 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 Super Mercado. I didn't even went to Randall's. I didn't even know that's, that store still exists. I thought they closed down a long time ago. I called Randall's, Target, all of them, Walmart, all of them. Nobody had it. So I had to just basically go ahead and break down and just say fuck it and, and order it online from Amazon. Good on Amazon. Can't do for you, girl. Uh, of course, I had to rush it. 
something got it yesterday came through for your girl so big shout out to Amazon with the Timothy with the Duncan Hines orange supreme cake mix so I can make my orange marmalade dump cake as well as I'll be making um and I'll show y'all the videos because y'all ain't gonna believe, girl. We're gonna be doing the caramel pecan pie. Uh, I'll be making that from scratch. It'll be homemade. And then as well as I'll have my peach cobbler dump cake. I'll be making it. So excuse me, got all the other stuff in the background. I'll be making it. So, without that further ado, I gotta get back into cooking, listen to my music. I listen to music when I cook, helps time go by faster. And I don't, you know how YouTube is when you're playing the music, you're copywriting and all that, yada, yada, yada. So, without further ado, I want you guys to check out this cool video I found, a funny video I found, uh, to support my argument as to why uh, I won't be cooking a turkey my first year of cooking a Thanksgiving meal. I found this video, uh, the 10, top 10 turkey fills from Tenaholic. And uh, check out that video, and when we come back, I'll show you a little bit more about how different Thanksgiving feast is going down, yeah? Check it out. Here it comes. All right, hold on. I'm going to remove this little camper. All right. There you go. Another one of Brother Tim's fine fried turkeys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. No! Oh, God shit. damn! I'm sorry, but did you see it? It's slipping. It's fuck. slipping. Look at this. All right. It's, get it on the video. it's a good thing I got long johns on. Huh? That, that turkey wasn't the only thing that just got boiled in your peanut grease. Yeah. Good. Thanksgiving fire. Okay. You dropped the bird in. Now you need a professional coat hanger wired up to do this. You can't just use any old regular coat hanger. Oh shit! Oh shit! Pull it out. Pull it back. Pull it back. Find you, yeah. Oh, not water, not water, not water, not water. Not water. Not water. Not water. Not water. Not water. I'm glad I didn't do it. Somebody lied. Dad, try, you want to try the baking soda first? Because that's what they tell you in biology class. You know what? Yeah, I'll get something. I don't know. That's going to melt. Or, you know, chemistry. And the fryer has caught on fire, wondering what. It's a pretty damn close to the house. It's uh, pretty bad. Disconnect All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy watching that funny uh, top 10 turkey fills um, video I found by Tenaholic. Be sure to check them out. Um, I've been sitting here whipping and cooking up in here, y'all, cooking with a bonnet on. Y'all asked the reason why I got a bonnet on in the kitchen is because 
I want to practice good, you know, sanitization. I don't want no no uh, cross contamination with the hair. You're supposed to wear hair in it when you're in the kitchen, okay? So that is why I got on the bonnet in the kitchen. And yes, I'm nearly so I gotta keep bedazzled, okay? So don't be hating. Mind your business, okay? But we back. In any case, you guys, um, I've finished my mustard greens. See, you got the tur uh, smoked turkey. I don't know if y'all can see that, 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 that close up. Um, just cooked. Um, I was going to show you guys uh, me cooking my meats. I got a mixture of turkey meat, sage, and, and doobie sausage. And when I first started cooking, it started looking like a, a what was that, dog poop, uh, a puppy child, whatever, puree. Because uh, I ain't want to, you know, get all over the troll. I only look like the home town. So I just thought I'd, you know, show y'all to the end part of it. Show you how it's looking just a little bit here. Pull this up. Get a little bit of that. Can you see that there? Get a little bit of that. Let me smell it. Mmm. It smells very sagey. Like uh, the seasons I use was sage, thyme, um, onion powder, garlic powder. Uh, what else? I think I did use. Did I use some Tony? Yeah. No, no, no. I used the uh, Goya's all purpose uh, seasoning. And that's about it for that. I didn't want to overpower it. Just wanted to. Definitely make sure you get some seasoning. But that's that. We finished our first batch of um, right. So we um about to make our dressing. Let you guys see that part at least, yeah. So well, I got my other one sitting over there cooling. Um, do it how my mama taught me how to do it. My hands are clean, guys. By the way, definitely wash my hands beforehand. So, um, basically, what we're going to use, of course, you got to have the Holy Trinity. I did my little mise en place before. Um, got the onions, yellow onions, celery, and bell peppers. So, make sure you got to have your Holy Trinity. Of course, we got the chicken broth. I messed around, I got the wrong kind. I don't even know if this is fat free. I don't know. Maybe there's a sign from God that I need this, okay? But, anyways, make sure you have your chicken broth. I like using cream of mushroom because it keeps it moist. Uh, of course, you can use whatever seasons I'm using thyme, sage, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, and pepper, and maybe some Tony's Creole seasoning just to keep the zesty in the south. And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, with that, we're going to put in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and. My job, this is my first time doing this, so uh, don't be, uh, go easy on me. I mean, I know you don't have your opinions regardless, but, uh, just, you know, another piece of failure you better try. As long as you're getting out there and trying and doing something that's productive, positive out there, you guys, don't worry about what the haters say. Fuck them, you know? It is the season not to give a fuck what anybody thinks. How about that? Okay, anybody who you know out there they got a problem with what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, God bless you. <laughs> but in any case, yeah. So, um, with that, yeah, let's speed this up. Let's don't miss it just yet. So, definitely have to make sure your chicken broth. And your cream of mushroom is mixing it, but you start doing all that so you can get that little bit of it. So dry. Definitely get all your meat in it. <laughs> Just go ahead and flip it up in there. Yeah. There we go. Get it on up there. Okay, so we got that. Go ahead and put in the Holy Trinity. Uh, what else? Go ahead and, and I'm gonna use half because I have another batch over here that I need and I'm not using that one. So uh, definitely just, you know, spread around. Just get that moisture going. So whatever places the cream of mushroom don't hit, the chicken broth will get. And you can use whatever you want. I mean, I, I prefer cream of mushroom because that's what my mother taught me. Our last Thanksgiving together, she, you know, this is what she showed me how to cook. 
and so and how to do it. So this is how I'm doing it to honor her. So rest in peace, my mom, Michelle Shenford. I love you. So uh, yeah, she's cream of mushroom and drop it up in there. Ew, gooey, ew. So that just go pop. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back for the rest later, but um, make sure that's that. I tried to drizzle it over, but uh, I don't know. This may work. I may need to get another one. We'll see, y'all. Uh, but uh, just ask you. But definitely go ahead and add your thyme. No need that, that and sage. Right here. Time it up. However much you want. This is a big batch, so you gotta make sure you get some, you know, play with it, be generous, you know. Same thing with the sage, y'all. I just say don't overdo it with all the pepper and stuff. Oh, I hate peppery dressing. I don't know. How about y'all? I don't know. Drop y'all comments and likes and shares about you know y'all favorite dishes for you know the holidays and Thanksgiving and what you guys do and cook for your family. Let me know, you know. That ain't just me interacting with you guys. I want you guys to interact with your girl. Let me know what's going on in your world, yeah? So that was the garlic powder, onion powder. Again, we're not trying to overdo it. Definitely want to make sure you got some seasoning in this mug. Uh, but definitely you can be generous with the sage, I say. Stop. Why do I keep always doing that, y'all? Because I'm so used to twisting off the caps. I forget. Just plop that little. Okay, there we go. There you go. Beef it up, sage. Taste the sage, especially with. Another one by us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That, that's that with the sage. Let's do it up. I'm just gonna put a little Tony Sassarase in there. Creole seasoning. Uh, yeah, I think I wanna put it in uh, all purpose with that, that. And then you just wanna mix, baby. Mix, yeah. Mix it on. Put a generous wing in there. Whoopsie, some will fall out now. That's okay, it's alright. Good thing, you know, cleaned up before. Just go on in. Make sure. Juicy with it. I need to put in another uh, can of cream of mushroom. Okay. It'll happen. You do better um, doing this by your hands, but I don't have no gloves, so and I don't want y'all to see me digging all of it. I'm better. But it, it, you do better having gloves. And I just might, might have to cut the camera off and cut this part. I don't want to see y'all get dirty and grimy with it. But um, yeah, as soon as y'all see it's coming together. Oh, as well as you need butter, so I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. going to plop that on in here. Yeah. Plop it in. Plop it in. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be ghetto, but you know, I'm not hood, so it is what it is. Since you being all ghetto, y'all. Yeah. ghetto. I'm looking at my, ah, my kitchen. It's up, but it's still bad. Even though know it's butter already in it with the honey bread. Still want to make sure. Let's pop it all over. I can't believe that. You know what? He ain't paying me to say that, so. <laughs> oh well. In any case. So that's that, you guys. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna take a little, I don't know. Maybe in the next one, I'll show y'all how it turned out. Make sure you got some photos, I don't know. But um, this may take a little finesse and, and get it to me with little elbow grease. I don't want you to see the girl act foolish yet. Food. Also want to take this time, you guys, while I'm sitting here yip yapping and jaw jacking. Y'all know, always with Third Eye Entertainment LLC, we strive to bring social awareness about mental health. And so, I want to take this time to uh, say for anybody out there that's going through any type of mental health, uh, 
frustrated, uh, anguish, uh, illness. Again, this is impromptu, so forgive me if I'm a little off uh, basis what I used to say. But anybody out there going through any type of mental uh, illness or struggles, dealing with uh, depression, bullying, having suicidal thoughts, anxieties, whatever the case may be, you know, going through, you know, drug relapse, whatever. Please know that it's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever they may mean to you. Uh, be it talking with a family member, a therapist, a friend, uh, picking up a hobby, getting on, you know, medication, whatever the case may mean. Do whatever it is that you have to do that keeps yourself and your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. And you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit incounseling.com or you can visit, oh, excuse me, I said that backwards. I normally say that last. You can visit 988lifeline.org or you can visit incounseling.com and again incounseling spell e-n-c-o-u-n-s-e-l-i-n-g and again remember you guys do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because at the end of the day you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters with nobody else and with that being said you guys again when it comes to you know mental health and keeping in check just remember whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through this too shall pass if you will get through it so going off the defense is not an option it's not worth it so don't do it okay so i just want to put that out there you guys before i get any further into this uh difference uh thanksgiving feast uh, i'm gonna actually cut you guys because i got to have to see i'm gonna have to get up in this thing here and i don't want y'all to see me have to do this something i want to do you know i usually i would have as long as i had gloves oh i wish i had some gloves because i just show you how it's done and uh, I think I'll just show you the aftermath, so whatever. That being said, you guys, um, check out another video that I found. Now with this one, this is the, um, uh, damn, I forgot just that quick. Oh yeah, <laughs> the top 10 Macy Days mishaps and mistakes, you know. I'm actually volunteering tomorrow in the Houston's Thanksgiving Parade, and we were having a training, and we were just talking about how the balloons, they often, you know, go off trail, and there's a lot of accidents with them. And so they prompted me to, you know, go online and look at some of the videos, and I found a funny clip uh, giving the top 10 uh, Macy Day um, balloon fails, and so check that out and when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what's going on and I'll show you guys uh, my little finished product here yeah here it is welcome back to Thanksgiving in the heart of New York City and you are looking up 6th Avenue from our special parade camera which sits high atop the New York Hilton Midtown the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade often marks the official start of the holiday season and this year it's scheduled for its 95th running beginning at 9 a.m. on Thursday, November 25th. But over nearly the past century, this annual tradition in New York City has seen its fair share of parade balloon close calls and accidents. With each one of these massive inflatables not exactly always easy to navigate between the countless onlookers, keeping command of these enormous floating characters can be quite the undertaking. Here's 10 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon mishaps and accidents. Number 10, Cat Balloon Confusion and Incident. In the early years of the parade, the Cat Balloon was a vintage Goodyear-made balloon making its debut at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, with some debate and differing views of its historical timeline. The balloon is often mistaken as the Felix the Cat Balloon, with some sources reading Felix the Cat actually didn't debut until 1932, while many others state 1927. Hmm, who knows who's right. Anyway, the issue was, during the early years of the parade, they didn't put much thought on how to deflate the balloons. They figured they would just simply set them free, and when finished, they would deflate naturally. This was an unfortunate assumption, as the big cat balloon gradually collided with some telephone wires and burst into flames. Number 9. Bad Weather Pot Pie Now, some claim this story to be an urban legend. Other accounts claim it to be true. Either way, the Pot Pie the Sailor Man balloon is definitely real and debuted at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1957. The story goes, rain at the Macy's Day Parade filled Popeye the Sailor Man's infamous cap and quickly filled it with cold rainwater. 
This became a body of swaying water awaiting to soak onlookers below at the slightest movement of this massive fictional character's balloon floating along the inner streets of New York City, and it did just that. The indentation of the balloon caused it to dump the ice-cold rainwater over nearby spectators of the parade. Is this real, or just a can full of spoiled spinach? Number 8. Rex the Dinosaur An animated film produced by Steven Spielberg in 1993 called We're Back, A Dinosaur Story met his demise via a not-so-strategically-placed traffic light that connected with a prehistoric character's nose. The longest balloon at 85 feet in the 1993 parade, the televised coverage that day would actually use video footage from the dinosaur's test flight instead of the damaged dino in action. With the film itself tanking in the box office, the balloon was also immediately retired from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Number 7. Kermit the Frog me. <laughs> yeah, I was born for Broadway, as you can tell. Uh, let's head back uptown. Bert and Felicia, let's hear all about it. Well, I, I, I don't know you if you can see it. got a great surprise. Kermit the Frog just came around a corner, almost stubbed his nose on the pavement, but I think he's flying right now. There he is. Kermit has been a popular guest of the Macy's Day Parade for many decades, but in 1985, it wasn't easy being green. The Kermit balloon ripped near its stomach area and began a massive green frog deflation. The balloon came dangerously close to the people on the ground and those trying to control it as it sunk lower as the parade went on during live television. No one was injured, thankfully. Number 6. The Sonic the Hedgehog Accident Gradually floating down the parade route in 1993, the Sonic the Hedgehog's signature helium-filled parade balloon encountered some troublesome winds and veered into a tree damaging its left arm and spike and leaving it dangling in the wind as it continued down Central Park West. Eventually, a gust of wind would cause it to collide with a lamppost at the corner of West 58th and Broadway. The impact sent a piece of the lamppost falling to the ground and it broke the shoulder of an off-duty police captain. Number 5. Bad Luck for Superman In 1985, the Man of Steel revealed a kink in his armor when a strong blast of wind and a heavy downpour forced the giant balloon towards the ground and tossing it around as it traveled along the parade route. As his handlers tried to manage control, Superman would not so heroically fly into a tree, ripping his left leg open and then quickly deflating the balloon, missing his slot on the NBC parade coverage. The following year in 1986, his triumphant grand return to the Macy's parade saw the man faster than a speeding bullet not quite fast enough to dodge turbulent wind in nearby tree branches, causing him to lose his arm in a live deflation to the surprise of many parade attendees. Number 4. The Cat in the Hat Another incident at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade involving a giant balloon and a lamppost happened again in 1997. This time the character balloon involved with the accident was the Cat in the Hat. The balloon smacked a lamppost sending a large piece of the post into the crowd and hitting a woman. This one was captured on video. Suddenly, it knocked off a large section of the light, which then fell into a crowd of people standing on the sidewalk. Huge wind gust came down, hit that light post right on top, sprung a big leak, a big chunk about four feet long fell right down into the crowd. As handlers struggled to bring the balloon under control, police and EMS rushed to help four people who were injured. Two suffered head injuries. One woman is in serious condition. This time again, high winds appear to be a factor in a more serious accident. Wind plays an important role in this parade. It adds that all-important element of suspense. The woman sustained serious injury and remained in a coma for over a month. She later collected $395 million in damages due to the unfortunate happening. After the accident, rules for the size of allowable balloons at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade were put in place. Number 3. The Cheetah Plane Incident Way back in 1928, Macy's began offering a $100 reward for return balloons that they would just simply let loose and float away when the parade ended. In 1931, a floating balloon snagged a pilot's airplane wing, leading to a ban on retrievals by airplanes. However, the following year, the recovery of the Cheetah Balloon that flew at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1932 was being attempted by another pilot when it hooked onto the airplane attempting to recover it, causing the plane to go into a tailspin. 
This accident led to stopping the release of balloons at the end of the parade. Number two, the tipping of the Kool-Aid Man. In 2010, the Kool-Aid Man proved to be too wide and unsteady. Upon its inflation, and minutes before the start of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, it tipped over. Eventually, it would be reinflated and would end up making the lineup just in the nick of time, right behind Horton the Elephant. The following year in 2011, the Kool-Aid Man began a tradition and decided once again to tip over at the annual Thanksgiving Eve tradition known as the Macy's Balloon Inflation Celebration. And number one, Spidey and Sam. The most awkwardly recorded happening of any Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade mishap might be this one. On 2012, during the inflation celebration, the day before the parade, the process of inflating the balloons led to some rather uncomfortable still shots of the huge 29-foot-tall, 78-foot-long Spider-Man getting a little too close and personal with Uncle Sam. A viral moment that won't soon be forgotten when thinking of major mishaps that take place at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like, share, comment, and consider subscribing to the Quest Capsule channel. And be on the lookout for more interesting video content, vlog documentaries, travel tips, reviews, and other video content we put out for all of our subscribers and viewers out there, just like you. See you on the next one. All right, everybody, welcome back. I uh, hope you guys, I forgot to tell y'all last video. I uh, hope y'all guys enjoyed watching those uh, 10 top mishaps with the Macy's Day Parade. I got that from Quest Capsule, and so be sure to check them out as well. So we back, you guys. Um, a couple of things have transpired since uh, last time we didn't talk. Had to go accident, uh, wasting things, and had to clean up, and that eight to 10 my time, and so unfortunately I was not able to participate volunteering in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I'm really bummed out about that, but hey, it is what it is. Um, secondly, I had um, just last minute thought being spontaneous. I said, Terry's in the world. Um, we're going to do some deviled eggs. So I got the eggs on. I got my uh, water boiling for the mac and cheese. My mustard greens are done. I got my dressing already done. Now we're about to make the uh, honey glaze, or I'm not using honey, but uh, the glaze for the ham. And uh, then we're going to pop it in the oven and let that cook. And then we're going to, what else we got to do? Mixed vegetables. You don't need to, y'all need to see that. That's just, you know, mixed vegetable. Y'all know that. Um, but I will show you guys my adventures in making my homemade orange marmalade dump cake, my homemade uh, peach cobbler dump cake, and my homemade caramel pecan pie. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, how, how do y'all say pecan? Is it pecan or pecan for y'all? I don't know. It sounds like pecan and pecan. It's depending on where you're at. But drop a comment below and let me know how y'all pronounce pecan or pecan. I'm in the South, so it's pecan pronounce all our syllables in solid vowels right here. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so with that, let's get started, y'all. Um, I got my butter. I had already melted it on, so we're about to uh, be looking it out again. TikTok, YouTube, uh, Instagram, big shout out to y'all. Make the job and save you, girl. I've been watching these little videos for months, just preparing. Uh, again, this is my first time cooking my, my Thanksgiving dinner by myself in my home. Um, I'm used to just making them little pit stops. Get my to-go plate they dipping out, but this time around I'm gonna be cooking my own little home. First Thanksgiving meal. Yes, it's just me. Um, a couple of things I want to talk about with that. Uh, people ask, why are you cooking all this food? And it's just you. Well, for one, like I said, I want to honor my mother and you know keep her memory alive, and as well as with in terms of keeping my mental health in check and, and not moping around and. and just be proactive. That's one of the reasons as well as, you know, shit, this is my, my, my home. This is my first time, you know, I want to cook something in my house and have something to for myself. So that's why, you know, and as well as, you know, shit, I'm grown, I do what I want. I gotta ask for nobody. Yeah. So, with that being said, uh, you got a little half a cup of sugar, brown sugar, like me, you know. So you got that, you know, dump it in. Once you guys can see it close, you dump that in, then you stir it around. Uh, y'all. I thought I had my little utensils all in thing ready to go. Give me a second. Let me get that for y'all. Hold on. All right, guys. I'm back. <laughs> had to get my little utensil here so we can uh, get the little brown sugar going and mix it around here. Make sure you keep it on. Next. 
And of course, you know, it helps to use a little portion cup, but I know how much I want to use. So uh, make sure you, you know, if you want cayenne pepper, give it a little sweet and sour tang, cayenne pepper, and mustard. You can find mustard powder. This is my first time hearing about that. Uh, mustard powder, so. Using cayenne, look at different mustard. Uh, mustard. Ooh, I'm bad at this. Y'all should have had this already. What they say? What they call it? Mise en place. Get all this together before you really start your cooking. But it is what it is. What you see is what you get with you, girl. You dip as well, y'all. Come and learn. That's how it goes down. So, get that in there quick way. Let's dip it that. A uh, little bit of maraschino cherries uh, juice. We'll use that. A little bit of that. Cut that off. Flavor, a little syrupy, and then also I'm going to use a little of the pineapple juice here. Don't forget, go to my website, check out my website, differencewell.net. Uh, see all my other social media handles, including my Instagram, my Twitter. God dang, y'all, why I keep saying Twitter? I'm not on Twitter no more. It didn't change to uh, X, and I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But I'm not on Twitter or X anymore. But I am on TikTok. Check your girl out on TikTok, Instagram, and of course my YouTube channel, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Uh, check out all my other videos, girl. What else? Um, anybody out there looking for motivational speakers? Um, Want to do collaborations? Get at you, girl. Yeah. Again, check me out on my website, dickenswell.net. As well as, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available on my website. Again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. So uh, be advised that this has sensitive content. It's intended for mature audience. So if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen, y'all. That's just the point of it all, y'all. To have these conversations that we need to be had and that are often swept under the rug and people turn a blind eye to. And so the way that I set this book up is to catch your attention and, and push that envelope to get you to have these conversations, even if it's uncomfortable for you. It still needs to be done. And so, go to my website, differencewell.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. All right. So, with that being said, you guys, let me wash my hands a little bit. So, now we're going to uh, place the pineapples. Dee, 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 dee. Cherries. Try to keep it as clean as possible in a, little, in a small space. If you like me and you work it in a tight space, you want to try to keep it as minimal as possible, as clean as possible. But if you can't, oh well, it's yours by any means necessary. Where are those toothpicks? Where are they? Okay. All right. So, we need you some toothpicks. Your maritino cherries, wherever you can find it. Wally World, uh, Fiesta, same difference. And we all fancy dancing, it's all the same. So, that, what you want to do? 
take your pineapple and just start plotting it and put at least two pick two toothpicks to keep it in place. Well my mama said <laughs> mama told me. <laughs> so take your two pineapples and place it all over wherever you can. Just again make sure you put some toothpicks to keep it in place. Then you're gonna place and push your cherries in the middle. Those in. Ooh, look at that. Bubbly. Googly. Okay, so yeah, be generous with it, y'all. Just put it everywhere. Point of it all, make it look pretty. Give it that sweet taste because you got a lot of salt in it. And so like that. <laughs> okay. Now normally, see, I, I like music when I'm cooking, and so it's kind of weird to me just sitting here letting y'all watch me talking. So I'm gonna have some music. <laughs> Free <laughs> music. We gotta worry about the copyright laws, y'all. But normally I have music playing, so it's a little weird for me. Okay, so basically getting all that based up. Snacking back. Two more pineapples here that anyone can. Then you might as well throw some juice and stuff in there. Go ahead, why not? That one. Okay. I don't know, y'all. Also, just let me let us come and say, I want to sit and talk to you guys. Um, What's y'all favorite dish for Thanksgiving or the holidays? I have to say for me, uh, I guess, dressing, of course. I'm not really a turkey person. I never have been. I'd rather eat just a ham and maybe like a little, little specks of turkey, but I've never been a turkey person. So, um, don't expect me to say ham. I mean, not ham, turkey. But I uh, get yeah, dressing, of course. I don't know. What else? What's, what's my... Just dressing, I guess. And it just depends if... Uh, Somebody makes a dish that's really good. I'm definitely gonna deal with any problems. Look at that. Just come out and also, if it's breaking up, make sure y'all put it, uh, put the two picks where it's breaking. So it can, you know, you might want to put like one or two. You might have to at times. See, keep it all in place. It is what it is. Two more back here. Make sure you get it everywhere you can. Sweetness on it. Right here. Like a little pineapple, baby. Okay. I don't know, y'all. Oh yeah, if y'all see, I got a different shirt on again because I had a little accident. I don't think I'm going to go into details what that accident was, but it was a setback for me, man, and it kind of, you know, as well as I'm tired, I've been up all night, y'all, so if y'all see these little um, bags under my eyes, that's where they come from. Okay, so now we're about to do our cherries. Let's see, we utilize all our pineapples, none going to waste, no pineapple left behind up here but in any case take your little two picks just get your little cherry dip it on up in there and blah blah that's all you do <laughs> make it easy on yourself work smart not hard people just get it where you can make sure you have a two pick in it to keep it in place you have to put it in Gotta get her done, right? <laughs> Good job. This has been fun, y'all. I think I might do this more often, making some more like food videos. But for me, it's all about you know doing research and making sure I'm putting out what attracts my audience. So with TikTok, I've been working on my little travel videos, and I'm not ready to put them out there yet. I've just been doing a little test run on my upload videos, but I've been getting you know. Fun. It's getting better. Oh, we 
we're almost done here, y'all. Then we're gonna, um, Everybody, welcome back. So, all right, everybody, welcome back. So, um, just showing you guys, giving you a little update with my honey glazed ham. Just doing a little drizzle, drizzle on it. Just to see you guys a little. Uh, so far, Welcome back. So we're about to get to it. Um, when it comes to the desserts, about to bust on down, uh, making you my homemade peach cobbler dump cake first, and then we're gonna move on to the orange marmalade and the excuse me, the um, caramel pecan pie. So with that being said, um, first I've already done a pre little prepping, so uh, you'll need some vanilla wafers make sure you fill up the bottom uh, I don't like uh, empty parts so I just put some extra you're supposed to have um, peach uh, filling, but I couldn't find any and that's fine if you can't just make sure like to don't overdo it with the juices too much so with that we're just gonna take the peaches. I have to find some peaches and cut them in half. It's all going to turn out the same, trust me. So just get you some peaches. Sprinkle a little over me, y'all, y'all, y'all. You got me? I don't want the juices to fall in. I just, trust me, it's method to my madness, you guys. I mean, look at me. Why'd you just dump it in different damn? Just don't worry about it. Like I said, this is my world. I do it how I want to do. Yeah. I don't want to overdo it with the juices. I got another can, that's why. Make sure y'all can see. Yeah. So, just, yeah. Get it all up in there. And then, I'm gonna see. Uh oh, make a little mess here. Okay, make a little mess. Just clean up afterwards. So good. So good. So good. A little drip drop shit. Alright, so got that one. And then we got our second can of peaches. This one you can go put. God dog, it never fails. My God. That being said, fuck it. <laughs> Take the other can and just go ahead and dump it on in there. Have fun with that. Spread that on around. Make sure that gets everywhere, all over. So the juice is gonna settle in, and what's gonna happen is gonna uh, make the. It's already starting to see. Make the vanilla wafer soggy. It's gonna serve as our crust. But let's just see. Now next, you'll need your peach preserve. So make sure you guys had that. I don't know if y'all can see that again. Your peach preserve. Da, 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 da. There we go. I'm gonna just tap that on up. Do do it. Go ahead and just get this garbage in the mug. Just gonna 
I'll be dumping it everywhere anyway. This makes no difference. Hey, look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Well, y'all know us big girls. We got another field day today. Don't worry. We hitting that gym up soon, too. Maybe I should have got two cans. Well, oh well, I'm still gonna slap. Don't worry about it, baby. You gonna slap? Okay. So, make sure you get on all corners. Cool. That's basically the point. Just make sure it gets on all corners, you guys. Cousin of uh, Ramsey, dude, yeah, him. I'm like, I'm him or anything. But in any case, yeah, get that all grouped up. Make sure you get a pot all over the place. Okay, mustard greens on everything. About to go down. Sammy, I'm making my mama proud up there. Okay, next we're going to what else we got? That was a peach filling. Let's call it that. Then we got our crustas or crustas, cinnamon swirl, crumb cake muffin mix you're gonna use. Make sure you put the first packet first, the vanilla. Make sure y'all see that. Yeah. Crustar, cruise, cruise, whatever. Do, 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 do. This is the first packet. And we got the second packet. Oh, Lord it! Well, I'm okay. so second packet here. Slip it on my pippa, yeah? Ready? So. Okay. I'm just gonna spread that around. So don't mix it, y'all. Uh, make sure it gets all around. Stick it in the middle, of course. Of course, you're gonna spread. Make sure it's even. Definitely gonna make sure it got some crust edges. Care about that over there. Sorry right, if you make a mess, you guys. Just make sure you clean up after yourselves. <laughs> Cooking gets messy. It happens. Okay. Again, you guys, don't girls say don't mix it, so don't mix it. Okay? You take the second batch here. Airtight. Like it don't want to open for me yet. For your girl. What's going on? Okay. Um, I guess before we put it in the second packet, make sure you spread it even, you guys. Again, you don't want no lumps and clumps. You know this is a dump cake. You still want it spread even amongst the cake. You don't want no little missing spots here. So get that in there. Yada, yada, yada. How about your girl? Again, spread it even. Okay. Get that on the edges, boy. Get the edges, okay. Spread it even, y'all. Just don't mix it. Just spread it even. Just don't mix it, they say. Okay. Be 
can avoid making it into this one. Oh, shit. Make sure you avoid this mess if possible. It's been getting messy up in here. All I've been doing is cooking and cleaning, cleaning and cooking, cooking and cleaning. Woo child. Yeah. So you're going to spread your cinnamon topping on next. And again, old girl say don't mix it, so don't mix it, y'all. I'm just going to make sure you get it to every little corner of the cake. Make sure no part is left. Um, let's see. Don't mix it, but still, you don't want no little clumps and big ass clumps and stuff. Spread it out. Again, my hands clean now, so you look at me like, ooh, wash your hand, is it? Of course I did. We got that cinnamon portion on again. Don't mix it. Next, you're gonna make sure you put your butter on. Now, to get your head up, I did a little preheating. I think that was a mistake because I was thinking that would make it cut easier for me. But again, you just basically want to make sure there's butter everywhere in aspects of it. judge me. I'm just doing it how I can, best as I can. Don't worry, it's still gonna slap me, trust me. No mistake about that. Get it, man. Well, another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby. Cause it's cheaper to keep up. Get down. It's cheaper to keep up. Now that you got your can frosting on it, go ahead and put on. Okay. And again, that's probably why you need like two bags because it goes fast. Careful how y'all open these bags too. You don't want to have a catastrophe. So again, be generous with it, y'all. Make sure y'all get all the corners for sure. Fill it up in the middle. Definitely. But I'll just show some love everywhere you can. Yeah. Bow down. Bow down. If you don't believe it out there. If y'all believe it, y'all my family don't think I can cook. Not that I don't know how to cook, it's just I choose not to. Okay. So that's that. Next part is you wanna drizzle it in some caramel syrup. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite part, I think. Yeah, this one turn out. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. And see, I know y'all wondering why you didn't open it different beforehand. But if I would have, I would have been tempted to, you know, dip. And so that's why I had to wait. I bought all this stuff in advance. Let's 
still had to, you know, practice restraint, which wasn't easy. Here we go. Just that bad boy all over that mug. Get it all up in there. Okay. Make sure. I don't know for me, but it's just something about them edges. I got to make sure the edges are, uh, you don't forget about it. It's accounted for it. Mm, look at that. Mm. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh. 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 Look how they look. Look how they look. Don't hate. Don't hate. Okay. Hating on your girl. Get you nowhere. Okay. See, this for me, I don't like no part left on turn. You hear me? Gotta get it all. Get it all. That's about it. I think we just about covered it all, you guys. Yeah. All right. And lastly, okay, so I think that's it. Okay. Go ahead and put that in the basura. Okay. Make sure you wash your hands. And this is next to godliness, you guys. And then also next, you need your supreme. Vanilla Supreme uh, Cake Mix. Make sure you get that on file, you guys. Blah, 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 Box of that. Fill that as your topping. Yeah, I already smell that cinnamon from the first one, y'all. It smells so good. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Put that mug on now, y'all. Again, old girl say don't mix it, but still, gotta make sure all it all the parts get covered. Okay. We're just doing what we was told to do, y'all. We wanna make sure it come all right. So all the parts covered. Oh boy. Okay. Go ahead and do it. Alright. There we go. Alright. So that part. Just again, make sure it's all spread even. She said don't mix it, but okay. Gotta make sure it's spread evenly. And you don't want no clumps and stuff. Spread it out evenly, y'all. That's all you gotta do. Make sure. Again, it's okay if you make a mess, just as long as you clean up after yourself. Okay? Okay, I'll try to keep it smooth for you. Because you gotta add the butter on top, baby. Of course, don't mix it, y'all, but again, just spread it evenly. Make sure it's spread it even. Edges and stuff, you don't want one part thin, the other part thick. People gonna be looking at y'all crazy. So again, spread it even. Don't mix it, just spread it even. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. And your last part of your topping gonna be your butter. Make sure you put the butter on it. Unsalted butter, by the way. You use unsalted butter. Okay. Go ahead and just on quick because it's starting to melt. Okay, just 
starting to melt, y'all. So I'm trying to be as quick as I can. But either way it goes, no matter what, I guarantee you it's gonna be bussing, honey. It's bussing. You heard me? Bussing. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so that's how I look with the butter. Hey, don't judge. I need to put some more in there. Possibly. Keep it moving. Okay, alright, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. And I guess we're working. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> alright, everybody, welcome back. So about to get to it um when it comes to the desserts about to bust on down uh, making you my homemade peach cobbler dump cake first and then we're gonna move on to the orange marmalade and the excuse me the um caramel pecan pie so with that being said um first i've already done a pre little prepping so uh you'll need some vanilla wafers make sure you fill up the bottom uh, i don't like uh, empty parts so i just put some extra you're supposed to have um, peach uh, filling, but I couldn't find any, and that's fine if you can't. Just make sure, like, to don't overdo it with the juices too much. So, with that, we're just gonna take the peaches. I have to find some peaches and cut them in half. It's all gonna turn out the same, trust me. So just get you some peaches, sprinkle them look over me, y'all, y'all, y'all. You know, got me. I don't want the juices to fall in. I just trust me, it's method to my madness, you guys. And we look at my own. Why'd you just dump it in different damn? Just don't worry about it. Like I said, this is my world. I do it how I wanna do. Yeah. This is it. I don't want to overdo it with the juices. I got another can. That's why. Make sure y'all can see. Yeah. So, just, yeah. Get it all up in there. And then, I'm going to see. Uh-oh. Make it a little mess here. It's okay. If you make a little mess. Just clean up afterwards. It's all good. So all good. It's another one. A little drip drop shit. I don't know now. Alright. So got that one. 
And then we got our second can of peaches. This one you can go with. God dog, it never fails. My God. That being said, fuck it. <laughs> Take the other can and just go ahead and dump it on in there. Have fun with that. And just spread that on around. Make sure that gets everywhere all over. See the juice is gonna settle in and what's gonna happen is gonna uh make the it's already starting to see make the vanilla wafer soggy. It's gonna serve as our crust. But I want you to see. Now next you'll need your peach preserve. So make sure you guys have that. I don't know if y'all can see that again. Make sure peach preserve. Da 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 There we go. I'm gonna just Dump it in everywhere, anyways. So makes no difference. And ooh, look at that! Yum, yum, yum! Well, y'all know us big girls. We having us a field day today. Don't worry, we hitting that gym up soon too. Yeah. Gotta, gotta chop that up, spread it out. Yeah. Maybe I should have got two cans. Well, oh well, it's still gonna slap. Don't worry about it, baby. You gonna slap? Okay. So, make sure you get on all corners. That's basically the point. Just make sure it gets on all corners, you guys. I don't know. It's my first time making it, so I'm acting like I'm fucking Bobby Flay or something. So, who was that other dude? All that cussing of uh, Ramsey dude? Yeah, him. I am not like I'm him or anything. But in any case, yeah. Get that all grouped up. Make sure you get applied to all the places. Uh, mustard greens on everything about to go down. See me. You know, making my mama proud up there. She's like, ooh, he girl. Tell me some. Okay. Get that all spaced out. Get some over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Play with it. Generous with it, get jiggy with it, all that in the above. Yay, yay. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> okay, next we're going to. What else we got? That was a peach filling. That's part of that. Then we got our crustas or crustas, cinnamon swirl, crumb cake muffin mix you're going to use. Make sure you put the first packet first, the vanilla. Let me show y'all see that. Yeah. Crustar, cruise, squeeze, whatever. Do, 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 do. Use the first packet. Then we got the second packet. Oh, Lord it. Well, I'm going to Second packet here. Slip it on my pepper, yeah? I'm just gonna spread that around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, old girl say don't mix it, so don't mix it, y'all. Make sure it gets all around. Sticking in the middle, of course. And of course, you're gonna spread. Make sure it's even. Definitely gonna make sure you got some crust at the edges. Care about that over there. Sorry right, if you make a mess, you guys. Just make sure you clean up after yourselves. <laughs> Cooking gets messy. That happens. Okay. That's the first batch. Again, you guys. Old girls say don't mix it, so don't mix it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm 
And then you take your second batch here. Mm, airtight. Mm. Acting like it don't want to open for me yet. For your girl. What's going on? Okay. Um, I guess before we put it in the second packet. Make sure you spread it even, you guys. Again, you don't want no lumps and clumps. Even though this is a dump cake, you still want it spread even amongst the cake. You don't want no little missing spots here. So get that in there. Yada, yada, yada. How about your girl? Okay. Make sure, again, spread it even. Okay. Get that in there. Get the edges, boy. Get the edges, okay. Spread it even, y'all. Just don't mix it. Don't spread it, you know. Just don't mix it, they say. Okay. You can't avoid making it too less. Oh, shit. Make sure you avoid as less mess as possible. It's been getting messy up in here. All I've been doing is cooking and cleaning, cleaning and cooking, cooking and cleaning. Woo child. Okay, so you're gonna spread your cinnamon topping on next. And again, old girl say don't mix it, so don't mix it, y'all. I'm just gonna make sure you get it to every little corner of the cake. Make sure no part is left on. Let me see. Don't mix it, but still you don't want no little clumps and big ass clumps and stuff so spread it out again my hands clean now so you look at me like ooh wash your hand is it of course I did So you, you gotta be all right so that's that y'all we got that cinnamon portion on again don't mix it next you're gonna make sure you put your butter on now you get your heads up I did a little preheating I think that was a mistake because I was thinking that would make it cut easier for me but again you just basically want to make sure there's butter everywhere aspects of it Again, y'all, don't don't judge me. I'm just doing it how I can, best as I can. Don't worry, it's still gonna slap. Trust me. No mistake about that. Get it, man. Well, another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Cause it's cheaper to keep up. Don't forget y'all, it's cheaper to keep
All right, y'all. Don't make fun of my. <laughs> don't make fun, y'all. I had to improvise, but that's it. Make sure y'all put it at forty-five minutes and three with three fifty degrees. Okay. So here we go. We got to do that. 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 Welcome back to Girl Different. So, showing y'all the finished product. We got the honey glaze ham. We got the mac and cheese. And just mixed vegetables, deviled eggs. The bam, lower case. We got the dressing. Yes, it is moist. Don't, 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 don't front. Don't worry about it, baby. Don't, looks can be deceiving. It's busting. Don't you worry about it. Then we got our, come on over here, mustard greens cooking, ba bam, ba bam, you see that, 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 got them warming up, then nicely for our desserts, dun, 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 orange marmalade, now I must admit, it did not turn out the way that I planned, so I'm going to have to redo this, but hey, uh, it does taste good, so I am going to get it smug a little slime, but hey, what I am excited really about here is my peach cobbler. I couldn't stay about this mug, yo. And sell this recipe here. Wee, look at that, that, that. And then lastly, we have my caramel, homemade caramel kind of pie. I don't know, can you see that right here? Homemade. So there you have it, y'all. So that's my Thanksgiving meal. About to fix me a plate and enjoy. Anybody want some, come get your plate. You're welcome to it. And again, y'all, if anybody out there that's fixing them a, a, a meal and that's by themselves and sharing it, hey, don't feel lonely. It's, it's peace of mind being by yourself and being happy. Trust me. I choose to be alone for, for a reason and by a choice. And so with that being said, you guys, being alone is what you need to keep your mental health in check and in peace of happiness and doing things and, and finding yourself and self-discovery do you okay so um fix me a plate right quick and then i'll come back and close on out you guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see yeah if as well come and learn all right everybody welcome back so here is the finished product i guess just seen all the finished product, but here it is plated. Da, 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 da. I know it looks full just for decoration purpose, you guys. Don't worry, I'm not gonna finish the whole plate in one sitting. <laughs> but I definitely am gonna enjoy myself. I'm very proud of myself. This being my first Thanksgiving, I think I did a very good job, a damn good job. I have to say so myself. I know my mom was up above, she's proud of me and smiling down on me. So, again, just for her, you know, honoring her. And making sure you know, like I said, keeping your mental health in check when it comes to those times, it's hard for you. And just like for me, you know, the holiday seasons, it does get hard. It is hard for me, man, especially with you know dealing with the death of my mother. You know, it'd be two years coming in December, so uh, just trying to stay proactive and productive. And so that was one of the main points of doing this, as well as just to celebrate, you know, being in your own, having your own, and just being have, have peace of mind. I'm about to enjoy myself, uh, truly. Uh, as well as with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy, you know, my journey cooking. Uh, I may do these, a little, uh, we'll start doing these a little bit more, but it'll take a while to do. So, um, we'll see, but I'm glad you guys took it out with your girl and you enjoy. Uh, what else? Uh, don't forget, you guys, go to my website, differentsworld.net, and check out all my social media handles. I told you guys before, but again, just don't forget the book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Um, as well as with again when it comes to mental health check do whatever it is that you have to do keep your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly be taking anybody with you uh as well as anybody uh not anybody everybody out there <laughs> don't forget to hit that like share comment and subscribe button for your girl definitely if you enjoy watching my vlog uh with my thanksgiving uh feast and so again appreciate all the love and support keep it coming and as far as when it comes to you guys and reaching your dreams and goals and going after it don't forget we got to manifest plan and prepare for it and then we'll surely come to you guys dip as well come and learn peace Happy Turkey Day, y'all. Well, happy Turkey Day, y'all. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. <laughs>
What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration. What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts: historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What if a controversial paradigm shift by author different? Go to differenceworld.net.